Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus and in this tutorial we are going to simulate a LiDAR scanner in Houdini. You'll get this uh, 3D representation and we will also discuss how to project it onto a plane so that way you get the sensor image. All right, let's start with a new Houdini session and inside we are going to create a geometry container with a sphere. The sphere should be set to NURBS, that way we can carve the top and bottom. And I prefer it to uh, set the sphere to perfect and then just define the V and the second V caps. So top and bottom have blind spots, just like a 3D scanner. And we will convert this back to polygons where we can define their resolutions. And this will be the resolution of the scanner. Now, before we convert this to points, I want to calculate the point normals. This will be the direction of our laser rays. And then we can just use add to get rid of the polygons using delete geometry, but keep the points. Now it's safe to just scale it all the way down to the size of our device, maybe 0.1. And we will ray project these points onto a test geometry, which can be copied several times to a grid of points that would be maybe four units wide and 10 meters deep. And we will just need two rows by eight, which will look like this. So let's do it the other way around. And I think six of those guys will do. And in case you're wondering why they are lying on the floor, you would just switch them to points. And that way they would walk down nicely. Now I don't necessarily need to see the guide geometry, but instead I would rather um, create a point intersection distance, which will come in handy, especially when you want to filter out the points that are still sticking to our scanner because they haven't found a target. So let's blast those by setting the blast node to points and say add dist smaller than let's say 0.01 or you can use a scientific notation like 1e minus 3 to get rid of only the really short distances where you're going to use the distance again this time in a color ramp from attribute set to distance set it to infrared and the range could be something like 5 now, in order to see the effect a little better, I want to merge my test geometry with a grid on the floor. And that way we can see these nice rings showing up. So this would be as soon as our sensor is floating above the ground, maybe by one, you will see these characteristic rings of a LiDAR scanner. Now it would be time to play around with the resolution a bit. So you go to the convert node and this would be the horizontal resolution and the V component would be the vertical resolution. Also, after the convert node, you can set up a UV texture set to points and polar. So that way we get all the coordinates uh, represented in UV space and this again can be used all the way down our node tree where we will just set our point positions to their UV coordinates. So that way you have it both. We can visualize the sensor view like that and we can also see the 3D representation on a bigger scale, like so. All right, thank you for watching.